it needs to be extended to all active full-time employees. Um, no, you cannot sit back and be selective. That being said, you do have the facility as an employer or a business owner to set definitions within classifications uh, as to benefit levels, as to levels of premium payments. Um, best examples of that are management may have a totally different program from what line staff would, uh, which may be different from hourly staff. Uh, the flexibility within a program may be even extended out to tenure within a company that if an employee has been with you for potentially 10 years, that as an employer you say that in order to retain that employee, I'm willing to say I'm going to pay 100% of the premiums that are attached to your benefit program. It can be hourly based like many union programs are, is that as your hours increase so do your benefit levels. There's a, there's a huge degree of flexibility within the structure, but it has to be applied fairly and equally across each classification.